may not be the prettiest, but stick around and I'll show you how I put this cabinet underneath my Delta table saw. If you have the 725T2, this will fit under yours. You can download the SketchUp file and the drawings in the link below. Anyway, stick around and I'll show you how I fill this up with crap. So I wanted to build a set of drawers underneath here to hold all my accessories for my table saw and router. I'm going to go with the idea of a lot of people online and use these as supports for some wings extending out from the drawers. So one of the problems we have is this nut right here. I can rest the set of drawers onto this if that nut wasn't here. But I think I'm, I'm going to be making the carcass out of three-quarter inch plywood. So I think I'll have enough room in that three-quarter inch to uh, drill a small hole in there, rest on here nicely, and have the wings uh, use these as supports as well. Looks like I have. 15 and a quarter. I think I'll make it 15. I'm going to go ahead and put put this into SketchUp. So the box I'm going to be building is 15 by about 14 and a half. Might be close. 14, maybe 14 and three eighths. How deep can it be? 20 and a half inches deep. Okay. And the sketch up. So I found two panels that are just over 14 inches. That one's a little out of square, so I'll have to cut it down a little bit. So I'll change that dimension to 14 so I can use these two panels. I'll have to cut the rest. A full sheet cut in half up here. My, lum my new lumber rack. Okay, I'm going to cut these down to size even more so I can take them over to the cross-cut sled and cut from there. So, set up my pocket hole. Don't forget to set this thing, the, the depth, correctly. I'm going to use inch and a quarter, inch and a quarter screws. That's this one right here. Set up correctly for what I want to do. Three quarter inch and the three quarter inch, but I'm going to use inch and a quarter screws. So we're set up.
going to fit, but it's balancing on this bolt sticking up, so I need to cut. So I'm going to mark it right here, right in the middle. Mark it on the other side as well. So now I'll try to figure out where that thing is. So I was able to get a pencil mark around it. So this box is going to sit underneath the saw and it's going to rest on the bottom leg, but there's a bolt sticking up and I have to deal with. I know about where, where it is in relation to where the box is going to sit. I marked this and then I measured these two marks right here. It should be about where that bolt is. And I'm prepared to cut out as much as I need to. I'll put a big dado in here if I, if I really have to. But for now, I'm going to put my Forstner bit in, cut a hole in here, and see if I can get it to fit. Through. It's okay if I do, but let me try that out. There it goes. I think that's going to work. Where's my level? No. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's going to work perfect. Oh, man, that's. Yeah, that's going to work great. I haven't worked with MDF a whole lot, so we'll see how this goes. I figure since it was free, I'd go ahead and use it for some shop furniture. See how it turns out. Let me get the level out. Might be a tight fit here. 
level right there. Oh man. Looks like it's just gonna fit. Now let me get the side wings put on. Well, it's, it's really in there too. It's not going anywhere. It's not moving. It's solid. I'm really happy with it. Gives me a place to store all my table saw stuff. And matter of fact, I need to get busy on that. So don't be like me. This, this handle should be a lot lower. These are okay down here. But this one definitely should have went for the middle.